I just finished watching the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and quite frankly, I'm pissed. Um, quite frankly, I'm upset. Quite frankly, I am disappointed by the lack of excitement that it was willing to give into my bloodstream. Um, you know, we've been in this trailer for months, and since the first one, this is all I've been thinking about every day of my life. Um, you know, it's just always been the thing in the back of my head that I've been, you know, challenged to uh, think of every day, waiting for the day where the trailer comes out. And after waiting two months, um, I'm pretty sure this is the closest a trailer has released in the MCU to the like actual film date. So we thought they were about to drop something crazy, something that's going to absolutely blow our minds, something that's going to keep us waiting, something that's going to keep us hyped, something that's going to keep us excited for the day of December 17th. Um, we did not get that. And um, after watching a bunch of uh, people, their streams, I kept them on mine, um, and people's uploaded clips, um, I am upset. Because they are so excited, which I was at first, but they, um, I don't think they're actually excited because I'm sure not. And I'm sure they're going to go through a little bit later and realize the truth behind this trailer and how, like, how scummy it is that they did this to us. Waiting, how, how long? It's, you know, it's, it's been months since the first, like, teaser trailer came out, right? But in the teaser trailer, of course, they showed everything. And after watching a couple of reactions of the uh, the teaser trailer, or whatever, um, I have just realized how much more exciting the teaser trailer is to the actual trailer. Ah, oh. and I, I'm just upset. I'm I'm just not I'm not happy about it. Now, let me get into more detail about why. I do not like this trailer, as, but as you can see, I'm going to play um, a couple of reactions um, from people after they finish the trailer. Um, they're kind of spiteful in the reactions. They don't want to really be this happy, but for the audience that they're there, um, they kind of got to be happy for it, even though everyone's thinking the same thing. Uh, where is Tom and Andrew? Where is Toby and Andrew? And... You know, I'm just <clears throat> a little sick, as you can hear. But I'm just trying to explain why I dislike this trailer so very much. Now, this trailer, right, starts off, it starts off great, right? Actually, I'm going to pull it up so I can get a reference of what I'm looking at. Okay, so the trailer starts off. The the like teaser trailer, the beginning of the trailer, is way more exciting than the actual trailer. But we'll get into that later. Um, so basically, we need some background knowledge. Um, we're starting off here, and actually, I'm gonna. Do that. Anyway, so as you can see, as you can see here, right. Starting off, teaser trailer, action packed, action packed at the beginning of this. You see, um, I'm gonna break this down right here. This is basically all we get in this trailer, um, overall. So we got um, Doc Ock, of course, with the brand new updated Stark Tech. Um, or maybe it's Stark Tech. Uh, that was, I think it was confirmed. Anyway, so we see him, it's red. Um, as you can see, that is the leaked costume that we saw originally, so I guess this is going to be at the beginning or something else, maybe later in the movie he gets, uh, his cowl or whatever, I don't really care. Anyway, so we got Electro, we got Electro right here, and I'm actually a big fan of the Amazing Spider-Man trilogy and the, um, uh, the original from the 2000s, I actually rewatched all those movies recently, and they are, stand the test of time, um, actually massive fans of those. Pretty much all the Spider-Man movies I love. And that's why he's probably my second favorite. First favorite. I don't know. Anyway, third favorite. Uh, so we also have here, Electro, Jamie Foxx. Uh, he's he's yellow now. Um, we knew that f for like a year. Um, didn't really know anything. Or, well, we knew it. Whatever. You we you get the point. He's yellow now. Okay, Spider-Man, you know. I'm not going to do a shot-to-shot -shot breakdown. I'm just going to skim through it. 
Anyway, so we get the same play, uh, like, play-by-play -play that we found in the teaser trailer. But then, when the Goblin Bomb, go, fuck, the Goblin Bomb rolls down, rolls down, rolls down, rolls down, you actually get a cutaway, uh, where you actually, actually can see him closing in with the cowl, which I'm guessing, uh, my original theory was that he gets this, um, the cowl, I, I think this is the first scene that all come together, right? They all come together, comes kill Spider-Man, and then Doc Ock, of course, turns to their side, right? So they're all trying to kill him. He's like, you're not Spider-Man. You're not Peter Parker. Um, so he's running. He's running. Water barrels. All right. So they see this shot. It's actually a really good shot. I actually like this. It's uh, shut up pretty nicely. I may, uh, uh, I, I'm just really like, into filming. And this is a really good shot. Uh, anyway, so um, make a make a really funny joke about his name, which I mean, if they called him Doc Ock, I would get that. But Doctor Octavius is uh, that's a pretty badass name. Um, Doc Ock, on the other hand, I don't think they're making. Wait, are they making fun of Doc Ock? <laughs> wait, no Octavius. No, they say Octavius. They say Octavius. What the hell? Anyway, gonna piss me off. Um, anyway, I really like this shot, too. You can see, uh, Electro in the background. Just kind of getting his power out of this, uh, uh, power line, I presume. And you can see Spider-Man right here. Uh, Oblivious or something, I don't know. And there is, it looks like a GoPro or something. It's like a live feed. So. Out of it. Um, guessing this is a costume flipped around. I think we already got that confirmed. Somebody spills green shit on Gooby do this. Anyway, so he's getting Doctor there. Strange powers. Like this shot too. We need to send them back. Uh, so he's like, he's getting Doctor Strange powers so. or whatever, built into a suit. This little thing here. Scooby Doo. And I really, I despise this. I've only watched the trailer a few times. I already hate this scene, and uh, you'll you'll hear why. This crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. So, basically, they are talking about Scooby-Doo in this movie, and it's not funny, it's not charming, it's just Zendaya, uh, Zendaya, and, uh, fuck, what's this? <laughs> uh, um, Lee Harvey, uh, what? Dude, Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Cumberbatch, right. So it's just Zendaya and Benedict Cumberbatch having this conversation about how they're gonna. Please, Scooby Doo, this crap. Yeah, they say crap eight times. I hate the word crap. It's, it's a substitute for shit, which I think they can say in PG thirteen movies. So I don't know why they say crap. It's actually uh, kind of bullshit. Anyway, like this scene too. Like this scene. It was in the other trailer though, so it's nothing new. Daily Bugle. Flying. About to see JJ. Yeah, I like this. Got into the garden to fight ghosts. What do you mean? See the de-aging on it. It's a little rough in this scene. Flying out into the trailer scene. Darkness. It's probably to fight ghosts. But yeah, it doesn't. I actually gotta move it. It just. It looks bad. That doesn't. This doesn't look good. It kind it looks like me honest, it isn't like a PS2 cutscene. It looks like a PS4 cutscene, I'd say. But the original PS4. Um with no updates or anything from 2013. Uh this looks like shit. Um I, just, I shouldn't say that. It's it's pretty good. But it's 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 just a bad shot to show it off in, I'll just say. Um if you pause. Which I hope they refine it, right? So we see this. It's see their this. fate. Goes after it. Very like sacrimonious. Darkness. What am I talking about? It's their fate. So he goes after this, the pumpkin bomb, like like in Spider-Man Three, and I really like that. It's an homage, I assume. Anyway. So I'm sorry, kid. The normal destructive scene. Yeah, me too. Don't. So he takes the Universal Cube. I don't know why. I thought it was because they were all in a prison, but in this scene, it doesn't look like they are because it looks like they are right after getting attacked. Maybe they are in the prison. Um, I don't think he'd be sympathetic for them at this point, though, so I don't know why he's trying to let them go. Maybe it's because he has the power to, like, 
let his friends know have all the memories back or whatever. I was hoping for a, an extra establishing shot. That would Actually, no. There's less. There's less shots. There has to be another and I was hoping this is a uh, this is Spider-Man 2. And I was really hoping that in this trailer they would explain what was going on here because it is very unclear, and I I have no idea what's happening. Um, it it looks like he's fighting Doctor Strange, but I don't think that's where the movie's going. Yeah. So. Anyway, I've seen this already. That's actually one of the best. Art. Look, there uh, has to be another way. There isn't. Whatever, it's gone. You saw it. Universe. Anyway, uh, show a few arms. You're sick. Uh, and then we get the Jamie Fox Electro. Um, there are dangers to our universe. And I actually like it. I, I really do. No. One of the best parts of the trailer that aren't what we've already seen, right? Already seen. Um, get a lisp. Take this away from me. Um. Okay. So. See that it's the CGI is a little rough, you know. If you up, uh, go higher. Anyway, so it just it doesn't look as good as you think it would in this trailer. Which obviously they're gonna do more for it. Obviously they're gonna improve this. Um, but you know it's just not as good as I th think it would be. It kind of looks fake. You know, Marvel CGI it's usually pretty good, and you know it kind of looks like Daredevil budget CGI. Daredevil is my favorite show. Uh, ever by the way, so don't take that out of context. But they just have enough budget, and this is this looks like what they would do if they had to do a full CGI shot with the Daredevil budget. And they don't have the Daredevil budget; they have the Spider-Man budget. Anyway, um, so they're blasting through the building, and this is the point where um, you start to realize that Doc Ock and everyone they're all working together. It's confirmed, and they all work together in the final boss fight, which I was really disappointed about. Um. Well, not really. I didn't want to see him turn good until Tobia showed up. Because, as you remember at the end of Spider-Man 2, he, um, he fell down after um, escaping the arms, right? After escaping the, uh, the arms, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. If you've seen Spider-Man 2, he turns good at the end. And I didn't think he would want to turn good until he saw Toby. And I am disappointed by this because I, I wanted to see that. Like him trying to redeem him again and bring his memories back all right let's go so he you're struggling Damn. Damn. good one of the best shots in the promotional media for this movie it's uh i really like this it's like very um artistic dr strange-esque everything this is pretty sick as well you want now um now this is where I'm concerned, right? So I'm guessing this is right before he dies in Spider-Man 1, uh, right at the end. Uh, this is like right before he dies, um, which his suit looks way upgraded. Actually, maybe not that much. It looks different. It just looks different from like what I remember. Um, his suit looks different, and I... I don't know, yeah. Unless they're making like a fake set of events for this uh, trailer or for this film and the trailers, then I think this is the beginning. Um, so I don't know how we would have like the slight upgrades and everything. Maybe it's just new lighting, maybe it's CGI, whatever. It's, uh, I'm just a little confused about the context. No. I really like that scene actually. Home the foe, of course, back. Uh, I wish we got a scene of them. But then we have the later on uh, outfit, which this is taking place, as you can see, um, at the you want battle, right because this is the statue of liberty and you know everything was taking place in the statue of liberty while the world so tries that. to make you choose and then statue of liberty just wiped off the face of the planet and so you got the lizard sandman and all um this is all my i'll get into more of my I complaints after this hate this scene and why this trailer fails to make this redemptive and it just fails to make this exciting for me I sound so petty anyway so it's falling down, falling down. right is that Ned? yeah it's Ned <laughs> and Peter sees him she's hurt 
This is a uh, main experiment to homage. Uh, which she's not gonna die here. Or does she? You never know. If they kill her, I'll, I'll be very happy. Or no, not that I don't like the character. I'll just be like, wow, they really like sacrificed um, stuff for this movie. And it's like, I don't think they'd kill Zendaya because she's such a popular actress. But you know, and you know, I'm really wishing for this is that when he's falling, Doctor Strange is opening up the portals, which you see at the end, or they're coming in, as you can see. He set up like a mirror dimension you saw it whatever you know what i'm talking about if you've seen marvel and i'm assuming you've seen marvel anyway so we reaches down tries to catch her um really like this but i think what they should do is that he's reaching down he's trying to catch her right he's trying to catch her um but then right as this happens um uh um uh, andrew he comes in he's like i've been in here before so he helps him yeah, I, I, that's a cute scene. I'll, uh, What's happening? Portal the opening. Portal through. opening. But then, this is where the, uh, the uh, timeline is hooked up. Okay. So, this this later beat in the trailer. Sexual Liberty is still here. As you can see before, they completely blasted it to make this energy field, or the near dimension around the Sexual Liberty. So my my theory or whatever is that this takes place before they start coming in and then while this happening commotion is happening so he's starting to fall or she's starting to fall you know what I'm talking about anyway so they do this this is our something to happen they explodes make the mirror dimension but then they pop out of a portal out of the side like around here slide in um as you can see like before um the entire set of liberty is destroyed so they have a little scaffolding he falls and then as you can see uh andrew comes in Ooh, saves him whatever let's go such a nerd what's happening they're starting to come through and i can't stop them so they're coming 17. in and then the trailer ends without showing anything and i'm pissed and i'm pissed and i'm pissed and i'm pissed Well, anyway, I was gonna make this last point. Um, they should have shown more of the villains. They didn't have to show um, uh, Toby and Andrew. Uh, anyway, they didn't have to show them, but I j at least wanted to see a little bit more of the villains, a little bit more of uh, content in this. And as just looking at past trailers or the trailer that came out, I watched a couple of reactions. It's it just got me way more hyped for the movie than this. Because this didn't reveal anything that we didn't already know. The other one revealed so much that we didn't already know. And it was just a teaser trailer. And this... I wanted to see all the villains in the flesh. I wanted to see... Um, we, of course, saw Electro. Um, you know, is an outfit. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so I wanted to see um, Willem Dafoe. I wanted to see his face. Uh, we already knew Green Goblin was in it because of the poster, before the marketing, whatever. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see everything. I wanted to see it every villain i wanted to get their moment and we only got the small bit of the lizard at the end which i feel like they're trying to hide but the lizard he is he he has a dumb motivation but he's a pretty good villain i really like kurt connors in that movie um not as much as i like the the um lizard um anyway i really like the actor whatever it's a it's a thing so jesus christ <laughs> anyway see you guys next time Sam.